Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. Today is the third day of February which is Black History Month and I've promised that all month long I'll be reading books with diverse characters, authors, and illustrators. Since it's been storming in Philly, I haven't been able to get to the library and I've read all the books that I've had at home. So today I made a trip to my favorite bookstore, The Wooden Shoe, to pick out a book for us to read together. And today's book features one of the most celebrated figures in Black history. Today we're reading a book from the Little People Big Dreams series. This is a book about Harriet Tubman. This book is written by Ma Isabel Sanchez Vegara and illustrated by Pili Aguado. Let's learn a little bit about one of the most brave people I know. Little People, Big Dreams, Harriet Tubman. Harriet wasn't always known as Harriet. When she was younger, she went by Minty. Minty was a little girl who was born into slavery in Maryland. She was owned by white masters and forced to work for them from dawn to dusk. At night, while her family slept, she wished to be free. See her family sleeping and she's staring out the window at a star. But freedom was a faraway dream for Minty and many other African Americans living in the South. Slave owners were allowed to sell people as if they were property. This is a true story, everybody. One day, Minty's owners sold three of her sisters. Minty and her parents wondered if they would ever see them again. Could you imagine having some of your family members sold and sent elsewhere? I don't think it was easy for Minty or her family. Unfortunately, this was a reality for many Black people born into slavery in the United States. Every other day, Minty was beaten by her masters, but she was always ready to stand up for herself and for others. One morning, while protecting a slave who was trying to escape his overseer, she was hit on the head. There, this is how that happened. For Minty, that blow was a sign that marked her destiny. She was now more determined than ever to take her people to the northern states where slavery no longer existed. So, one night, she said goodbye to her family and started a long journey north to Philadelphia, guided by the North Star. Minty changed her name to Harriet so that she couldn't be traced. When Harriet finally reached Philadelphia, she joined the Underground Railroad, a secret network of safe houses and people who were against slavery. They helped enslaved men and women reach safety in the free states and in Canada. Can you believe that she really traveled here to Philadelphia and helped slaves escape to freedom? Thanks to them, Harriet soon traveled to the South again. She went back for her brothers and sisters and as many slaves as needed her help. For 11 years, Harriet repeated the same trip again and again, guiding hundreds of people to the safety of the Northern States. She called them her passengers and she never lost a single one. Isn't that amazing? Even when she helped families with young children escape, she got them all to safety. After years of problems between the Northern and Southern states, a civil war broke out. Harriet signed up to help as a cook, but she soon became a nurse and even a spy too. Here she's treating a soldier who has an injury. On a mission to rescue 700 slaves, Harriet led three steamboats along rivers full of explosives. She became a hero and everybody called her Moses after the Bible story. That sounds very dangerous. But eventually the war came to an end 
and there was a great celebration. Slavery was finally over and millions of people were free for the first time in their lives. See the happiness on their many faces? But Harriet's work was not finished. Unequal rules for African Americans carried on long after slavery was over. She took to the stage to demand her rights. And sadly, my friends, it is true that we still have a lot of work to do to achieve true equality today. Because little Harriet knew that you have to use all of your strength to stand up for yourself so that you could stand up for others too. And that is why there's a dream that she will one day be on the $20 bill. And that, my friends, is the end. Thank you for reading this story for me with me today. And I will see you tomorrow for more great books. Thanks for watching.